Hello friends, in this tutorial we would learn Arduino Uno based keyboard door lock system. So let's get started. So following are the components required to do this project. So we will take the keypad and the cable is connected as shown in this video. We would also require Arduino Uno board. One relay module, and one solenoid lock in which the cable is connected, as you can see in this video. Few jumper wires, male to male, one nine volt battery along with the holder. And 3.7 volt battery, which we would attach to the solenoid lock. So we'll start with the Arduino Uno board. We'll take the Arduino Uno board, and we will also take few male to male jumper wires, and we will insert from. Point number six to thirteen. So we'll do it one by one. So we'll attach the jumper wire as shown in this video. Once that is done, so we'll take the keypad. And we will insert the male jumper wire to the cable of the keypad. Uh, we'll start from the thirteen number, which is the orange color cable, and we'll insert the first point of the cable of the keypad. So we'll insert one after the another, as you can see in this video. So once that is done, this is how it would look like. You can keep it down. Now we will take the three jumper wires. One side would be male, and another side would be the female. And we'll take the relay module. As you can see in this video, there are three pins to which we need to connect the three wires. So we'll take the Wire, and we'll start putting into the first pin and the second pin. Once the two pin are connected, we'll take the third wire and we'll connect to the third pin. Then the other side of the mill connector, we will insert in the Arduino Uno board. So we'll take the first wire, which is brown color, and we will insert to the win point. Then we will take the red wire and we'll put right next to the win, which is the ground point. And then the third one, which is the yellow wire. To the fifth point, as you can see in this video. Once this is done, we'll take few more jumper wires along with the lock, and we'll insert both the jumper wire. Inside the those two points of the lock, we'll connect red to red and black to black, or whichever color you want to take. In our case, it is black to blue and red to red. Once this is done, we'll take the other side of the wire, which is the blue, 
and will insert inside the relay module which is the center point will take the another wire and will insert into the third point and will tighten the screw so the wire will not come out now we'll take the 9 volt battery along with the holder and there are two wires one which is the red wire will insert in the arduino you know board where it says 5 volt and the another wire which is the black one right inside the ground as soon as you put the black wire inside the arduino you know ground you can see the green light on the relay module if the circuit is made properly you can see the green light now we will take the 3.7 volt battery and we will insert the white wire from the relay module to the first point of the 3.7 volt battery and the second wire from this lock inside the third point of the battery so this is how uh, we need to make the connection for this particular project now insert the usb cable and open the code which we have given you in this particular video there is a link once you open this is how the code would look like the line number three it says the password you can change uh, from one two three four to whatever you want and you can go to tool and you select port com 4 after selecting the port you will select the tool board arduino and you will select the arduino uno board once that is done we will go to the manage library we will search for keypad by mark once you find it uh, you can click on install if it is not installed and the installation will happen once that is done so in this code if you press a it will lock the door and with the password 1234 it will unlock so we'll compile the code by clicking on the tick mark once that is done if things are okay then you can simply upload once the upload is done once the code is uploaded and the circuit is designed we will arrange the circuit in the following way as you can see in this video so initially the door is locked we'll press 1 2 3 4 to unlock and see the door is unlocked and we'll unlock the door by clicking a so now the door is closed so this is how you design the circuit and you upload the code and you carried out the project i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video thank you so much